you again. Me again? Yeah. Of course. Um, what, you trying to get rid of me, Marty? I've been trying to, yeah. Why? We're what? a team. Wait, wait, wait. We're a team, Marty? That's kind of why I want to talk to you real quick. I've got a question. Okay. What happened at Peak of the Pack? You tell me. I did everything I was supposed to do. No, you didn't. You didn't. You hesitated. You hesitated. And that little bit of hesit that lot of bit of hesitation, Marty, cost Caden his title. <laughs> that title should be around his waist right now. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. This is a serious matter. Look, I have an ironclad contract, Marty. Ironclad. If you remember, you signed a contract with the law office. And when you did, you became a part of a team. Ergo, when a member of that team needs your help, you need to be there, no matter what. You gotta be a team player. We needed you at Peak of the Pack. And in the future, we may need you again. And I can't have this hesitation. I know. I know you might be a little conflicted. You've, you've had some time away. I'm not conflicted. Well, good. Because if you f me over again, you're fired. action here as we got the very impressive two scoop Tommy test up into the ring. I've been super impressed by what I've seen here. Just such so much athleticism rolled into one competitor in Tommy Two Scoop. I just love what I see from this guy. He's a powerhouse and a competitor, but uh, here's your guy. All right, man. Hey, look, check this out. Oh, that hair. Got his entourage with him. Well, yeah. Just wanted to coming to the ring by Marty Casale and Preston over the sky. Manila Ice. Shoot! Casano! Johnny Casanova coming out here with Preston Skidmore. And are kind of maybe a reluctant Marty, the Moth Casals. I think that's uh, I think that's a fair observation. Uh, definitely does not seem to be happy that he has to come out here. I, I, I believe it's he's contractually obligated to kind of do what President Skymore asked of him. Now, 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 tell me how does that work, Lucas? If Marty Casals enlisted the services of Preston Skidmore. How is he beholden to him? Well, I mean, I'm sure there was some kind of contracts signed that was written by that uh, orange clad slime ball, Preston Skidmore. I mean, you know, when I look for a lawyer, that's the kind of qualities I look for. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, uh, orange clad slime ball? Really? Yes. OK. Well, Ooh. two scoops. Take it down, Casanova here. And Casanova is outsized and outpowered. And really, I, Two Scoops is just such an incredible athlete. But don't discount the technical, the tactitional brain of Johnny Casanova, but he's got him, he's kind of in the in the bad, bad way right now. Well, and he's got to rely on what you said, his his technical prowess his, and his brilliance. He really is a brilliant man, as hard as that is for me to say. I don't really like, comp wait a minute. Hold on, did, did he just, what? did Mark Casals just grab the leg of Casanova? That, see, that, see that, there's some stuff that's not adding up here, and I think I, you hit the nail on the head. Oh, oh no! Man, two scoops almost took off Casanova's head. <laughs> I don't know if, if Martin Cassell thought that was two scoops coming off the ropes. Uh, 
Yeah, definitely. I, oh. Oh, there you go. And there goes that tactical prowess from Johnny Casanova, able to. Oh, and get hangs him up with that with a neck breaker on the ropes. There is uh, there is definitely some conflict between Preston Skymore and Mark Casaus. And Johnny Casanova on the attack, driving that knee into the back of the head of Tommy Two Scoops. Two Scoops trying to get to the ropes, but look at Johnny Casanova just bearing down on the back of that neck, across the throat of Tommy Test. Casanova, he knows how to compensate for the size disadvantage. That's one thing that he knows how to do, because in most matches, he is the smaller opponent. And he just showed that right there. While Tommy Two Scoops was going the attack, Johnny Casanova able to kick his knee out, getting him down to size, and now he is on completely on the offensive right now. And Mark Casals is leading a Two Scoops chant. You know what, I, I'm thinking you kind of, and you talked about this briefly, that might be some contractual thing to where he might be able to get out of that, but I'm thinking that'll come out here later well, on. Well, I don't know. I'm sure that uh, Preston Skidmore has already been studying everything about that contract, probably trying to make some amendments to it, I'm sure. And that's what any good lawyer would do. Oh, screw his client out? Is that what you're saying? Hey, man. Oh, wait, oh, look at Tommy Two Scoops able to shift his body weight and almost get a, a three count. And Tommy Test trying to get up to his feet. Series of strikes to Johnny Casanova. Oh, that, yeah. Love, Elbow that, com love that. that combination. When hey, he look, they just. They just dab, they just dab together, uh, they, they, Marty Casales and Tommy Tutsko. And that's not going to make Preston happy. Double axe Double handle. Double axe handle, and Tommy two, two scoops, Tommy Test, he is feeling it. He's about ready to put away Casanova right now. And we've got one scoop coming. We're going to see two, and we're going to see this. The scoop and around the one scoop. scoop around the rosy slam. And he's picking up. Go for the second one here. Two scoops of Tommy Test. Now winding up. What has it got prepared here for Johnny Casanova? Oh, but oh. right before he was stri gonna strike Casanova. Casanova went for the knee. Brilliant maneuvering by Johnny Casanova, able to go attacking the knee. Great tactical prowess. And now a little discussion between Martin Casals and, and Casanova. And, but he's got, and well, look at this. Martin Casals getting on the ring apron. And they're, but look, they got a distraction here. Oh, and, and that was a that's a loaded notebook. Of what the hell is in that notebook? Uh, lots and lots of paper. You, yeah, you lots of paper. Lot, you my, deal with a lot of paperwork when you deal with the law. My rear end. There's more than paperwork in that in that notebook. I mean, I would not discount how heavy a lot of paper. Can yeah, be. you're. I believe there's got to be some kind of foreign object. And oh, summer breeze, neck breaker, and that's gonna be it. One, two, three. That's it. You can hate all you want, Lucas, but that was a very impressive victory. Able to capitalize on the distraction was Preston was, Skidmore. That was some impressive cheating, was what that was. That, hey, potato, oh, but, potato. Oh, but look at we got a little confrontation. Mark Casals, and look at that, they're kind of pointing to the to the I, I think you're right, Lucas. I, I think he 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 signed some two paperwork and it made it, it put it like he stopped dead in his tracks yeah he knows that somehow I know I I don't know all the details but somehow there's something that is keeping Mark Casals from just cold cocking Casanova Lucas I think you need to get your hands on that notebook I, I think we can figure it out if we can get our hands on that well I might I might go raid the loft as well we will be back with more charge so don't go anywhere we'll be back
Don't look at me that way. What, how am I looking at you? Look, we're this close. This close to what we want, what we're trying to get to. This close to finally fighting, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, we're this close. You don't want to fight no more? No, see, Dustin, the way that I see this is, is you are this close to getting what you want. But this close is as close as you're ever going to get. Look, regardless of what you have to say, we have to stick together temporarily before we can get a shot to fight. Let's get through this, and then we'll deal with each other. Who says we're going to get through it and deal with each other after? Have you, have you ever thought, just sat down and thought for a second, that maybe all of this is by design? Do you, do you really think that you and I, whether we like each other or not, that the chemistry that we have had would not put us at the top of that tag team division? We could have won peak of the pack. It would have been easy. I know we could have. I don't have a doubt in my mind. But what happened? I don't care about peak of the pack. I want you to win. I'll tell you what, Dustin. I would far rather win or lose at Milestone, get those tag team championships, than ever see you get the RMP championship again. And here we are back here on charge. Singles action. And here comes the vulture. Destin Urick out here in singles action, but he's been teaming up with Damon Ace as of late. And that's been that's been interesting to watch here. I can't believe you said that. I mean I, I it's true, but how in the hell is it? And how in the hell are they still going to get along all the way to Milestone? I mean, they, they got a chance, both of them, to win the tag team. Can you imagine them two being the tag team champion? How are they going to work together to beat Chopper City? But there's a, there's a man that wants to uh, get some momentum here at Rocky Mountain Pro. That's, that's the most insincere show of arrogance, telling people how to clap for you. I mean, I you, mean you, sometimes people need help. You, know, you, you got to spell it out for them sometimes. Well, I don't Ooh. think uh, the vulture, Dustin Yurk, I don't think he's going to be doing any clapping for Jason Bravo. The clap his head, baby. Wait, nice what, what, jump. What? Do you see the athleticism? Yeah. Whoa! This is Holy smokes, like, Lucas! Like he shot out of a cannon. The vulture, Dustin Yurick. He, <laughs> he's like, this is how you clap, sir. This is the man who was the longest reigning Rocky Mountain Pro Champion of all time. Showing, showing exactly why here. The power by the vulture here. Throwing him into the corner here. Oh! oh it, was, it was going for that belly to belly overhead throw, but Jason Bravo put it. Put a stop to that. Excellent move by Jason Bravo, cracking on those ears, messing with the equilibrium of Destin Yurick, and this momentum is in his corner now. And this is a rematch of about a, over about a month ago of the peak of the pack qualifying. Don't, don't, yes. Don't forget. So these two know each other quite well, and they uh, got some familiarity. Maybe Jason Bravo's, you know, picked up a few things that he learned from his last matchup against Dustin Yurick. It got him on the ropes here, but the ref trying to break up the count, trying to break it up here, making it all the way to that five count. Running knee to the back and just getting him onto that ropes. And Dustin Urich down on the canvas here. Slow to go for the cover. We got it here. Took his time to try to go for that. That might have cost him uh, not to be able to get that three count. Yeah, Dustin there. just able to get his shoulder up. And, and now, Jason, once Jason. again, 
trying to show everyone how you properly applaud his uh, his excellent ring work, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he has excellent ring work, but you gotta, you gotta, I gotta say, I, I question his tactics here, especially with a competitor like Destin Urich. You can't give him a second because if you do that, the vulture is gonna capitalize. Yeah, you, you literally have no one that has a resume better than Dustin Urich here at Rocky Mountain Pro. Continuing to go on to the attack, a little bit of mix of attack and bragging here. But more attack right now is a series of elbow strikes to the head. And, and he better get on it, man. Yeah, and he's, he's wasting too much time jaw jacking with the crowd. Like, Big whip into the corner there. Uh, but Dust able to get the boot up. And, and able to get out of the way. And what's he got here? Oh, Dust here going down. Inverted with DDT. And that's got to be it right there, right? Okay, right? Could be it. Oh, no. Oh, man. That that would have taken anybody else out. Got to give it to Jason Bravo. Able to kick out before the three count. And you're using that country strength to muscle up Bravo. And now it's going down. And oh, you know what? Signaling going to the top for that big diving headbutt. The vulture going to the perch. And. Jason Bravo slow to get up here. Oh, he, he got oh, up. There he goes. Took Dusty Eric took too much time climbing those ropes. Bravo able to. I don't like the way the vulture landed on that. I mean, that definitely, he's going to be feeling that one tomorrow. Going to have to get him some ice after this probably. Yeah, got to be in an extreme amount of pain right now. But again, Jason Bravo not capitalizing on it, trying to well, get to the crowd well, yeah, here. They, here we go. Yeah, wasting too much time getting after the ref, but the ref was all on top of it. It's Bravo who was not not quick enough to get to that cover. And it's like just now he's just straight up just choking Destin Yurk right now. Yeah, Bravo is showing a little frustration. He's got to get his head in the game here. Oh, gotta get this is gotta get your reps in. This man. is just not a smart strategy. Bravo, you would Bravo with over 10 year veteran should know no much better to not do this against a guy like Dustin Yurick. Stomp to the midsection onto Dustin Yurick and kind of chatting with the was he trying to tell the referee how to count more I, now? I, or maybe he's trying to tell the referee how to applaud for him too. Maybe he wants, he wants the referee to cheer for him. I don't know if that's going to work out. Axe handle smash and he, he is wearing down Dustin Yurick. There's no doubt about it. But he's got to keep on the offensive if he's going to get a victory against Dustin Yurick. And again, wasting time, wasting time. And Destin, Justin Yurick able to get up into the corner here. Johnny, uh, Jason Bravo going right to the attack, clubbing blow right to the top of the chest there. Looks like he's setting up for a suplex here. He does, got him in position. Oh, able to step over. Great display of strength. And will he? Look, it's still wasting time, and this is, I'm even getting frustrated watching this. It, and I don't, I have no, uh, I have no cheering factor in this match whatsoever, no, but. No skin in the game for you, Lucas. No, but, but uh, just as a, as a fan of, of great wrestling, I'm, I want to see him execute this better. And, oh, and now he's going for that kind of triumvirate of, of, the new, of moves. He, here comes the leg drop, and now will he be able to follow it up with that elbow drop? Again, wasting, wasting just a little bit of time. Every second you give Dustin Yurick some agree. Going for that elbow, and that was it. Once again, wasting too much time. Dustin Yurick able to get out of the way. And the vulture driving Bravo into the corner here. It looks like we might have a, a shift of momentum. Belly oh, and here, Billy! That huge display of strength, and Jason Bravo landed very awkwardly. He is not a small man. Oh, Jason and he drops him face first. Jason Bravo looks to be out of it. And the vulture telling him, come on, get up, man. I'm not done with you. Yeah. Dustin York looking to put him away. Oh, he's got him up. Going him up for the dud. Dustin York driver, but back elbows by Bravo fighting him off. Face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, going for a discus lariat. Countered. 
Oh, it hurts. Send him up. He's got him up. Tiger Driver. This is it. Two, three. moments here, but I fear, you know, him kind of being a little bit of arrogant, jaw jacket to the crowd, that might have cost him here, but got to give it to Dustin York, yeah, impressive victory for him. Dustin York got some momentum, can he get along with Damon Ace though, that's going to be the key, can he function as a tag team with the weapon? Well, we're going to have more charge as we roll on, so stay tuned, we'll be right back. Rocky Mountain Pro is the pro wrestling elevator. This is your chance to get up close and be part of the high-flying, exciting, and fast-paced action Rocky Mountain Pro is known for. Miss your chance to be there and experience Rocky Mountain Pro live. And we are back here on charge. Man, we got tag team action. Here comes these two big old beasts. This beast is an understatement for sure. The Vito, Baker, Jeff Coat, these two, they are a rough, rugged tag team. A lot of meat to handle. Uh, obviously a big stake. And I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he's a big stake. But guess what time it is, Lucas? Yeah, well, we've got uh, the guys who can chop that big stake down. Very true. <laughs> Baker Jeffcoat and Mount Vito getting ready to have uh, one of the. Uh, and Baker Jeffcoat going to start things off here. And these two monsters lock up. Oh. Oh. And, and they, they caught Atiba. Atiba in no man's land here, getting the beat down by these two guys. But Atiba. Fighting back for all its all his muster, but man, what a dangerous place for him to be in. Baker Jeffcoat trying to muscle up Atiba, but Atiba able to fight back. And here we go. He's got him up. Might be going for a running slam here. Running power slam. A lot of authority on that one. And here's the cover. One. No, just one count is Bossy gets in the ring. Bruce Wayne's breaking things up here, but. Atiba right back into a place he does not want to be. Now we got the big stake in here. Oh my goodness. That's nearly 300 pounds running full steam ahead. And the Rocky Mountain Dragon, he is in trouble. He's in the wrong part of town. His knee to the midsection by Atiba. And it. Vito kind of talking trash to Bruce on the other end here. And Bruce trying to rally the crowd right behind Atiba. And hey, Atiba yeah. to get out. Yeah, that worked. As Atiba makes it to the corner and tags in Bossy. Here comes Bruce Waynes. Boss man Bruce Waynes in here. 
We and say that the Celtic Berserker likes to fight. Bruce Wayne likes to fight. No. Let, let, don't let that jovial attitude of Bruce Wayne fool you. He, this guy, he, he used to fight MMA fights, a former professional football player. I mean, just because you're having fun, just because you have fun fighting doesn't mean you're less of a fighter. Yeah, that's right. And he is chopping away at Jeffcoat. And now they make the tag. And here comes Atiba. And setting him up here. Setting him up uh, for the chop. Oh Big my goodness. midsection chop. And Atiba has him stacked. And Jeffcoat able to kick out in spite of being stacked like that. Impressive athleticism by Baker, Jeffcoat. Jeffcoat showing it some toughness. Atiba also showing some toughness. Oh, coming and off with the prettiest elbow. Got a lot of air on that one. One, two. And again, Jeff Coach showing he's no slouch, able to kick out before the three count. And now, Job the City, they are just fluid right now. Quick in and out tags. Double elbow, going for the cover. And uh, Jeff Coach able, able to kick out before Montvito was going to make the save, or trying to make the save. And Atiba going for a chop, but Jeffco able to block it. Now back on the offensive, a series of strikes onto Atiba, clubbing both of the black to the back. And, and he is putting all of the pressure onto Atiba. And got some words with the ref here. And gives Vito an opportunity to kind of get some offense here while the ref's back was just turned for a second and tag made to the big stake. Oh, Driving that. Ooh. And ooh. all of the meat going into the midsection of Atiba. And forearm shot to the head. Tag made to Baker. And hey, he needs to, he needs to stay on to but, Atiba. Well, here. He, yeah, he's. I think he's trying to draw Bruce Wayne's in, maybe trying to get a distraction, but nice side suplex. The team is the legal man here, though. I mean, he can get Bruce Wayne's in here, but the ref has got to make the count onto a team, but he's the legal man. And what, there's a cover. And Tiba kicking out. Jeff got thrown right head oh, first. Oh, Atiba able to block it. Now Atiba chopping his way out of trouble. He's trying to get out of there, and he's got them both, rocking them both with a series of shots and a clothesline, stopping Atiba right in his tracks. The Celtic Berserker put it into that really quick. And there's, once again, going for the cover, but not enough. And going for another cover, and Atiba He's going for a series of cover, and Tiba's just not going down. Only got a one count on that one. Well, this is just trying to wear down a Tiba. I believe this that's the game plan out of out of the Berserker and Vito. And a Tiba fighting back, able to get to his feet, going for a kick. No, but able to duck under. Jeffcoat saw that one coming. And it looks like he's a Tiba. Look at the athleticism. But able to catch him on that time. And Atiba trying to get to the corner, getting the tag, and comes and here the second rope superstar. And here comes Wayans. Here comes Bruce Bossy going, taking him to Chopper City. Oh no! It, oh! Big stick caught that one, but I can't look at the strength. He just picked up Montvito, and down he goes. Montvito. Not a small guy to say the least, and Bruce Wayne is just putting all that strength on display. Oh, no, they're, they're not gonna do this, are they? Uh-uh, no, no way. No way. Going for the sucker buster, no, no way. No way. I get it, he got him oh up. Oh my God, did you see the strength of Choppa City? That was incredible, and Bruce the legal man gets the cover, and that's it. Wow. Chava City with the victory. They keep rolling and milestone it. Being so close, that is huge. The Chava City freight train full speed ahead.
right into milestone. Impressive display of strength by Bruce Wayans, able to get the big steak up like that and able to chop the steak up into little tiny pieces. That, well, that is what Damon Ace and Dustin York have in store for them at Milestone. We will be back, guys, with more, so don't go anywhere. And back here on charge. Wait a minute. That's, what's, what, that's, what's going on here? That's, that's Remy D's music. Oh! Oh, boy! here. I'm, I'm not sure that, that, that he doesn't have a scheduled match. No, he doesn't. I, I mean, what's he, he's, he's obviously got something to say. Well, he is the number one contender to the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion. He'll be facing David Drake at Milestone 14. Look at the look in Remy Deep, man. After winning that pick of the pack match. Just the look of disgust in his eyes, yeah, man. He is yeah. just mad. I do not recognize this man. You're going. When I give a damn, I'll let you know. Folks, people are worried about who I was. People are worried about who I am now. But what you need to concern yourselves with, who a brother's becoming. You see, the remedy you once knew as the answer, the solution, he's in a coma. The remedy you once knew as the cure is now the disease. Which brings me to my next stage of business. Mercury Yaden. Wait, what? Mercury? What? You see, sir, you suffer from a condition I call ballistic podiatry. What? Because at this point, you've shot yourself in the foot because you've made matters worse. You see, you're a hypocrite. I can name several individuals who you choked out with chains, knocked out with brass ducks because they talk about your family, your ex-wife, your daughter. But now you want to hop, skip, and jump in my business because now apparently daddy's home and he wants to gatekeep the way Remy D wants vengeance. Oh, daddy, daddy. As much as you want to consider yourself as a leader, mentor, a father figure. In the end, you're nothing but that deadbeat dad that left out late at night and got that pack of cigarettes and never came back. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's not called for. Oh, you're hurting my feelings. So why don't you do us all a favor, especially me? Come on out here and tell me why should I ever listen to your ass again? Wow. I can't, I cannot believe this man. I can't believe the audacity that Remy D has. Man, you just don't. Talking about Mercury Aiden like that. You just don't bring him in his family. I know those knees don't work like they used to, my way. And he is calling out Mercury Aiden, the founder of this company, the founder of Rocky Mountain Pro. Just like I thought. And Yaden not coming out. You know what? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. What, why should he come out when Remy's out here? He's just talking trash. He's pissed off. And, uh, you know, I don't blame Mercury for coming I, out here. I just can't. I cannot believe what has happened to Remy D. Well, I don't know what to say. We got more. So stay tuned. We'll be back. They're on charge. Disgusting. Are you ready to get a little crazy? Uh, not really, but I guess I got no choice, do I? No. When Marty the Moth Casals come out, it gets crazy. 
here at Rocky Mountain Pro. Oh, and look at who's the Rocky Mountain. It's just It's the first big coming to the ring by Kassaus out here with his lawyer, Preston O. Skidmore. Could be an interesting one here. Well, yeah, you can tell that milestone season is ramping up when Preston is out here quite a bit because he knows that's where he makes his money. I mean, you can't blame him. Man, the, the man, is the, you got to make money out here. We just, that's the type of world we live in, Lucas. Well, he's got a chance to make some money against Enrique Calderon here tonight. El Chingon going up against the mob. Boy, this is going to be an explosive one here, Lucas. It should be. Enrique Calderon is, a, is an impressive athlete. Very, very skilled. He can be a high flyer. He can take the fight to you, but he, I, I'm not sure that he's ever went up against anybody quite like Marty the Mon. I mean, there's really no comparing anybody else to Marty Casals. And with Preston Skidmore in tow, man, El Chingo, man, he's got his work cut out from today. He's gonna get, he's gonna earn all his money, that's for sure. And look at, look at the Moss showing off here. You know, I still haven't wiped my forehead since that little uh, that little peck on my forehead uh, at peak of the pack. Yeah, did, what, what did you ever do with that belt, man? Did you ever find out where he got that from? Uh, some fan is uh, having a hard time keeping their pants up right now. <laughs> uh, and look at this, Calderon, they're having a little hip shake off here. Uh, uh, yeah, a little, little hip off, if you will. Yeah. Uh, that, that, boy, that's... <laughs> I don't know, man. That, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, out of 10, maybe uh, 6.5, 7, maybe. Even Shakira says those hips don't lie. Uh, I don't know, man. What? Well, there we go. Uh, I, don't, I've, I don't know how to feel about this. This is kind of getting me a little uneasy here. Ah, oh, man, it, it, relax. They're, just, they're fine. They're trying to get energy here. They, you know, you got to stretch your hips. A lot of people don't realize those hip flexors, especially in the ring, you got to stretch them as much as you can. Yeah, I, if you say so, I, you would know all about that, Tony. I you mean, I, you, I, you, you, and, you and your spa time with Johnny Casanova. Hey, I mean, man, I just, it's just now how it is, man. He's giving me some good tips on how to maintain my healthy lifestyle. Well, we get, finally got a lockup in this matchup. Mark South able to overpower Calderon into the corner. Calderon takes a little, takes a little break outside of the on the apron, and he's complaining that he got his hair pulled. And the ref kind of putting keeping Marty at bay there as uh, Enrique tries to get into the ring here. But the look in Marty's eyes, man, he's just hungry, it's hungry for that blood. Hun well, Marty, uh, Marty can eat, I can tell you. That was a nice duck under by Enrique to get that side headlock in there. Uh, but oh, look at the power of Marty Casals lifting him up, but Enrique able to get wrenched down on that headlock and oh, trying to go for the trying to go for the takedown, but he stopped that right in his tracks. But oh boy, here oh, we man, go. You see the strength of Marty from a headlock, side headlock, and just lifting Calderon way up in the air. And Calderon. He's hot tailing. Yeah, it, man. he doesn't want any part of that. <laughs> Marty called him out on it. it yeah, Mar it, this has kind of been interesting to watch the relationship between Marty and and Preston. And Preston he, yeah. he, he has not really liked Preston getting too much into his wrestling. He does, it's, and he has, he's kind of taken issue with that. Yeah, they're going back and forth right now, and. Uh, but look at look at Marty Casals getting the reefs, getting them right back in there. What a display of strength! Excellent clothesline by the Moth. Second clothesline. Down goes El Chico. Oh, and here's a big scoop up and around he goes. But no, able to get out of the way. Ref had to get out of there quick. Oh, he oh and that was not wise by Calderon. You do not try to go to the head of Martin Casals. He's going to show everybody how it's done here. I feel. It, yeah, th yeah, that's how you do it. It does not phase that man. <laughs> and Preston on the outside, like, trying to plead with him. Like, look, man, you had a match here, dude. Yeah, well, he, he oh! said, oh! Headbutt! 
Big headbutt takes Calderon all the way to the outside. And Marty Casals shifted oh. into his favor, and Enrique. El Chingon out there. Enrique does it to the crowd. Look Enrique at that. Enrique doesn't want anything to do with Marty Casals right now. I think. And he, uh, Enrique oh, needs to get his head in here. You know, now he's running around the ring, trying to get chased by the moth. You know, Marty chasing. Oh, him. almost going for that elbow drop, but Marty one step ahead of him yeah, right here. He saw that coming. Oh, no. Able to catch Marty with the big boot right to the chest. And Calderon now striking Marty down. Trying to keep him down on the mat. He's having better luck with those clubs to the back. But we got a pin. But did better not hook the, the leg, back. and that was a big kick out by Marty. Better to club him on the back than the head, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a big back, though. A lot of real estate there for sure, but it seems to be working. It's paying off. And now opening him up and just big shots right to the spine and side headlock here a continuing to stay on the attack on marty marty trying to muster as much as he can to get out of this but momentum in el chingon's favor right now and yeah marty still looking to try to turn over definitely he's got the power to do it and he's starting to make his way up. Calderon's losing it, some of his some of his positioning here. Looks like he's he, Marty's up to both feet now. Oh, big, couple big shots on the section, and that, he's got Calderon up off his feet. And and here we go, Marty fighting back here, winding it up, going for the fences, and Elching going with a kick right to the chest, putting a stop to that. Yeah. Really quick, putting a stop to it, and a huge left hand. And El Chingon whipping the moth into the corner. Clothesline coming out, and Marty Casales with a series of clothesline. El Chingon going for one, got a full Nelson slam. Oh, big time full Nelson slam, got him way up. And now, Marty getting ready to hear, I think we're ready to hear to finish. Wrapping it up. Call the round. Oh, he's maybe looking to punt him. Here he goes. Oh, he's going for that stop. El Chingon able to put a stop to it, though. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, that one has Marty uh, reeling in. We're going right back to the hip. A little yeah. And now he's caught in no man's land. Oh, face first down goes Enrique. Coming off the rope. Big time curb stop. That could be and it. And that's it. He's out. He's got Forget the leg on it. The Moth picking up the victory in a pretty dominating fashion here, Lucas. And you know, Marty the Moth would, would, would think he would be a little bit more celebratory, but there's a little conflict between him and his lawyer. You can kind of you can kind of see that kind of kind of friction between the two, and. But, you know, he, he pays him. You know, it's the least he can do is do what he says. You, you know? heard it. He said, told Preston to leave him alone. Well, that's going to be an interesting thing to keep an eye on.